A few years ago, I made a pen pal from another state through a website. We talked a lot with very extensive and specific letters for about a year and some months. She told me about her childhood, her high school experience and what she was going through at the time. Her family, her house, her city, everything. One day she tells me that she was going on a vacation and couldn't send letters so she sent me her Instagram in case of an emergency if I wanted to talk to her. Honestly, I had tried to find her before on social media, but her name and surname were too common. We were very close and I didn't like talking to my pen pals on social media. But one day I wanted to tell her about an accomplishment I made. I go to the user she sent me, but it didn't seem very active. She had no bio, no profile picture and the only one photo. I recognized her face because we sent pictures of each other. I opened the photo and see it was from 2016 and it had so many comments. Weird, she had almost no followers. I thought maybe this isn't her main account anymore, but then I opened the comments. She was dead. Her comments were family members, friends she talked to me about, they were all giving her condolences and saying how much they missed her. I didn't know what to think, apparently someone had murdered her in early 2017, the year we started writing to each other. Thinking it was a bad joke, how could it be? Maybe she made it all up. I keep on writing letters as if nothing happened. I asked her specifically about 2017 though if it was a good year or not. She tells me a lot of things what happened that year and that she went out with a creepy guy for a while. I don't write to her anymore after that and haven't received any letter from her. But it still haunts me and I still don't understand what the hell happened there. After everyone told me that I was talking to the murderer I got very freaked out. That never crossed my mind. I did some research and found out that they had two suspects, her boyfriend and stepmother. And they both went to jail in 2018. But they released the stepmother a while later and closed the case saying that the boyfriend did it. He got many years, so he must be in prison still, hopefully. His name or face isn't public of course, so I couldn't know for sure if he is free. But he probably isn't. Anyway, someone said it couldn't have been a family member or friend not knowing how to cope. And I think that might be the most logical answer. I really felt like I was talking to her all the time though, but it could be that. I should do something more, try to reach out to someone who knew her, but that low case scares me. There is another clarification. The web page that we met through asks for ID picture and a bunch of other stuff for security measures. It is designed for teenagers and so they don't get catfished. 